Hi yogis, this is Cole Chance with Yoga TX. Thank you all for joining me. And today we are going to lay on our backs because our backs hurt. My back hurts. And you're watching this video, so I think that your back hurts too. So let's lay down. I'm going to invite you to either get a block if you have one, and if you don't, just get a pillow, maybe two pillows. And we're gonna slowly come down to our backs. I'll tell you about what happened. We just go ahead and come down and place the pillow or the block underneath your sacrum. It might be, if it's, it might be softer for a pillow depending on how, how your back's feeling. Separate your feet to about hips wide and just kind of get comfortable and you can start to kind of shift your hips back and forth or whatever feels good. You just want to elevate the hips just a little bit here. So just go ahead and relax into this restorative posture. If it feels good to bring your knees in, which actually feels really good to me right now, you can also bring your feet in instead of bring your knees wide. So there's some different variations. I'm gonna bring my feet wide and knees in. Just relax here. I can feel my lower back radiating. I um, get a little too ahead of myself sometimes and I've been really busy and working and doing a lot of, I do a lot of massage as well as yoga, but both of those things are pretty body intensive and um, I wasn't really listening to myself. I was, I, I get go, go, go and wasn't watching the signs. I kept losing things and um, forgetting things and losing things and that's always a sign that something's gonna happen. Normally it happens like I lock my keys in my car or I'll get my car towed is normally what is the culmination. Culmination. And uh, this time it was in my back. So I saw a lot of clients yesterday and by the end of it I couldn't stand up straight. So I'm getting to slow down. Maybe and try a different position with your legs here. And see how that feels. I'm really feeling like it's releasing a different, a different piece of the pressure on my sacrum. So it's so important. Um, I'm like learning my own lesson or the, the things that I talk about. Um, we definitely don't have it down, none of us. None of us have it all down. It's all a practice. So definitely my lesson this week and um, the lesson I'm talking about to you all is, yeah, slow down and uh, honor your body. You know, through yoga we're one of the things that we're cultivating is awareness. And, you know, when we become more aware of things around us, you know, and things within us, you know, our body is very clearly talking to us. My back had been hurting for a while, but I just kept ignoring it and kept doing deep back bends and a lot of, um, a lot of body work and and just kind of pushed it to the side. But in hindsight, when you always look back, you can always tell that there were all these, all these place pit stops that you could have taken. So the more you kind of reflect on that, hopefully the time gets shorter and shorter and shorter between incidents. And depending on what you're on, you can go ahead and leave it where it is, like I'll leave mine. It's a pretty low, 
low area. If you're on a block, maybe you want to take that out. But we're going to extend our legs straight. And go ahead and bring our arms up. We'll take a really big, long, lengthening stretch here. You can rotate your palms and your feet. And go ahead and let's bring our right knee in. And leave our left leg long. And bring it in towards your chest. Just clasp around your knees. If this still hurts your low back, yesterday it was kind of hard for me to um, straighten my legs out. Then you could bring your knee in, it should relieve some pressure. So whichever one feels better, actually this feels better for me. So whichever, you can have your leg extended as well. So I'm just bringing in my knee, my right knee here. Big, steady, unhurried, rhythmic breaths. Our body works the best, fueled by those. You can grab your ankle here, or you can grab your foot and start to pull your leg down. So we're kind of like in a half happy baby here. So before I was pulling my knee into my chest, and you can still do that here, but if you can pull it over to the side a little bit, so it's kind of coming down, you can do that. I'm gonna try to extend here now. It feels a little better. So loosening up the hamstrings always help with the low back. So just taking some time here. We'll just let slow releases happen. And one, and also, if you're on, if you're propped up on a pillow or even two pillows, and your legs extended, it also kind of creates this stretch for your hip flexors on the extended leg. So it's kind of like a bonus, a bonus stretch. So now go ahead and bring your your left leg in if it's not already, and we'll take our right ankle and just cross it over here. So if this is enough for you, just stay here. You can push your right knee away. Or you can start to bring your knees in, both of your legs in. You can clasp behind. Really start to get some opening on the right side. Maintaining your inhales and exhales steadily. Always remember that you're your best teacher. So if anything I say, or anyone for that matter, if it doesn't feel good to you, then um, yeah, don't do it. So really listen you know, to that inner wisdom and, uh, and pain, listen to pain. That's not so subtle sometimes. Inhale. And go ahead and release. Bring your foot back down, leaving your leg here. I'm gonna cross my knee all the way over. Shift my hips over to the right a little bit. And drop my knees to the left. So just real gently. So I'm not even going all the way over. I'm starting to feel a little bit of uh, pulling, but this feels good where I am. There's always that kind of fine line of benefit to um, pain. So really listen to what feels good here. You can tee your arms if you'd like, look to the right, but just real gentle, just kind of to the beginning of a stretch here.
Mm, this is another thing I've been doing that feels really nice. I love side body stretches. You can stretch your arms up, grab your left wrist with your right arm, and kind of tilt over to the right. So as if you were gonna like come all the way down and, and kind of candy cane around. This just creates an opening over here. And you can kind of pull on your left arm if you're liking that sensation. Just another thing to play with in this, in this posture. And go ahead and come back to center. Pick your legs back up. And bring both your knees into your chest. Mm. Kind of rock back and forth. This is like a safe place or home base for when your low back hurts. You know, the fetal position feels so nice. Now we'll straighten our right leg and keep our left knee in. And again, you can straighten it or you can just place it, um, place your foot on the ground. Just pulling in. Maybe you start to extend a little bit with your right foot or extend all the way. Start to feel the, some stretching in your right hip flexors. I came home last night and uh, I have a big Bernie's Mountain Dog and she puts on a big show for me whenever I get home. She's so excited. And um, I came home early. I canceled like the, my clients that I had after my little injury. So I came home early and she was so excited and she runs and she grabs, grabs her leash and brings it to me. And uh, I was like, oh no. I'm like, we're cuddling, honey. <laughs> so we just laid there all night, which she likes too, but she was pretty excited that her mom came home early to take her on a walk. And that's not what, not what happened. And you can go ahead and grab your foot or your ankle now here. I'm pulling my knee down towards the side. So that'll look different for everybody, but. Starting to opening up the hamstring and you can kind of play with moving your foot around a little bit. This creates completely different sensations. So let's see what feels good for you. I'm much more mobile on my left side. I'm gonna ask Santa to open my right hip for Christmas. It's been it's stuck. Most of us are like that though. Even in like discrepancies, it's interesting. Like most people, one of their feet will be a little bit bigger than the other one. And like most people's legs, you know, just super, super slight, but we're not um, equal in most of our, most of our measurements. It's interesting. And bring your right knee up, foot on the floor, and you can bring your left ankle over and start to find where you'd like to be in this reclined pigeon. Many different stops. You can keep your right sole on the ground. You can grab behind your thigh, you can grab in front. You can also push your left knee away for a little bit more. Just find somewhere that feels good and beneficial for you today.
couple more breaths. Cross your left foot all the way over and we'll shift our hips to the left just a little bit. So by doing this, what we're doing is we're keeping our spine straight. So we shift our hips to the left to twist kind of around a straight spine. So you can start to drop your knees over to the right side. Always try to breathe even deeper in the twist. And again, if you'd like to take the, you know, the little bonus stretch, and grab your right wrist with your left hand and pull up and then kind of rainbow over to the left here. This feels nice. feel some of my muscles just like very, very, very slowly releasing and it feels great. Incrementally. Go ahead and slowly come back up to center. You can unwind here. And bring both knees in. Rock side to side. And go ahead and place your feet down. We'll do a little traction here. I think this feels really nice. A lot of the times, you know, our low back gets compressed from, um, you know, from sitting, from, you know, just we're hard on our bodies. So just that lengthening is so nice, but this is one thing that I like to do is I'll bring my heels towards my butt as close as I can. And I'll come up on my toes. You don't have to, but I like this option. Come up onto my toes. I'm gonna to place my palms into my thighs and I'm gonna push away. So you can like almost visualize or I can envision, you know, like my, my pelvis separating by inches from my ribs. It's like a big expansion. A lot of pressure. I can feel around my sacrum in a good way. It feels really nice. I want to get one of those. I don't know if anyone's tried one of those. Um, what are they called? Like inversion? swings or something. You know, like hang upside down and it really creates that traction. I think I need one of those. But this is, um, this is like a DYI inversion swing. Nice, and go to release and drop your heels. We'll do a few rolling bridges to start to get some movement and some articulation in the low in the lumbar. So I'm going to tilt my pelvis back. So if I had like a, my pelvis was a bowl, I'm gonna tilt it back and start really small. So I'll just inhale. So I'm just tilting it back here and then I'll exhale and bring it back down, and maybe I'm now I'm tilting it forward a little bit. Now I'm coming back, I'm tilting it back. Maybe I come up a little bit higher. I'll come down and tilt it forward. Inhale, coming up. So every time, maybe if it's, if that range is feeling okay for you to come up a little higher every time. 
I'm starting. I think maybe I want to stay low. <laughs> but you can come all the way up into, you know, kind of a full extension of bridge. So do what feels good in your body today. I'm gonna stay low, but just moving the, getting some articulation and some movement is really good no matter how, um, how dynamic you're going. So a couple more. This feels really nice with the pillow underneath. It's like a cushion to land on, a nice cloud to land on every time. Good, and kind of just neutralize. And let's separate our feet about mat's width and place your knees together. And that'll help to neutralize your sacrum. And from here, you can windshield wiper a little bit. Side to side. And you can make this as big as you'd like as well. I'm moving in, in baby, baby steps today. We always come to the mat different, differently and we have to you know, respect that. And practice will always look different as will everything else in our life. So it's good to have that reminder that, you know, we're not always you know, going to be able to do some certain move or we're not always going to be, you know, happy at work or not always going to be really productive or, you know, all, all different things that we're so multifaceted and we have so many different, take so many different shapes. And just always to honor where you are. And one of my teachers says that, you know, coping and just bullying through is not a path to healing, you know, because we can, we can, uh, you know, push through and just make it work. We have that kind of attitude. It's just kind of like a band-aid, very surface. So to truly heal in any aspect is, you know, to kind of dig deep and do what's needed, and what's truly needed, not um, not what just needed on the outside. Go and come back to center. We'll take our knees in one last time. And if it feels good to you, we'll do a happy baby. I think that sounds good. So reach inside your knees for your ankles or for the outsides of your feet. And you can just stay right here. This actually feels great. But you can start to bring your soles up to the sky. Make some movements here. Whatever feels nice. And go ahead and squeeze everything in one last time. Maybe bring your chin to your knees. all the way down so you can extend your legs here if that feels good for you I'm gonna separate bring my feet together and separate my knees let's bring one hand to our to our center to our belly on the solar plexus and one hand to our heart
and just tell yourself and make an intention, let yourself know that, you know, make a statement of desire to respect and honor yourself and your body and your mind, your heart. Become aware of those needs and to rise up to meet them. Care of the roots, then all the branches thrive. And take a big inhale. Open mouth, sigh it out, exhale. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Biggest one yet, expand fully. And release. Good. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you feel a little bit better. I know I do. And yeah, just slow down and listen. Learn from me. Um, thank you all for joining me. I'll have videos out every Tuesday. You can come back and check those out or subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram at Cold Chance Yoga and also at Yoga TX. Thank you all, and until next time, namaste. I need to think about visualizing that. Your shoulder blades coming together onto your back, chin up, sternum going towards the ceiling here. Exhale, we're gonna round, so bring your elbows together, tuck your chin as you start to curl your back. This should light up the muscles going on either side of your spine here. So you can control the intensity. So if you need to come, not go as far, this can be intense. Inhale.